Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle. Happy holidays and happy new year. I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas or any holiday that you celebrate. I recently just did a what I got for Christmas video. So if you are interested in seeing that, make sure to check it out. But Christmas is unfortunately over. So now the new year is approaching us. It is actually New Year's Eve today. So I will be uploading this on New Year's Eve. But I kind of just wanted to do a little New Year's resolution video not only to give you guys some ideas but also for me to reflect on in the next year. So since I do YouTube now I really like to capture all of the memories that have happened every year so I feel like it would be a cute idea to do a New Year's resolution video so that next year I can re-watch this and see if I met all my goals or if I didn't. So I really hope you guys enjoy hearing my New Year's resolutions. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get notified of every time I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. I will always have them linked in the description. So I pretty much categorized my New Year's resolutions into like topics. So I have personal goals, which is what I want to like not change about myself because I never want to change who I am or what I'm about, but just changes in my personal life that I hope will make me a better person. And then I also have a health topic and career topic and goals. So I actually have more personal goals than anything else, which is crazy, but also good. So the first one that I have is to challenge myself, especially now that I am no longer going to be attending college and I'm now going to be doing cosmetology school. I want to challenge myself, especially there, because I want to make sure I learn everything in cosmetology school and I want to make sure that I'm good at everything that I do so I really want to challenge myself in that aspect. And I also want to challenge myself outside of school meaning do something every day that either I wouldn't typically do or that I'm not really into like I just want to challenge myself because I feel like if you do challenge yourself more and more every single day, you'll grow into a stronger human being. So that is something I really want to work on. My next personal goal is to be more present. I feel like I'm a very, very present person, especially with people that I have known for a while and that I am very close with, but I feel like I'm more present at certain times than I am at other times. And I just want to be present all the time. Because I say this all the time, you only live once and, and you never know what's going to be thrown at you. You never know what's going to happen to either yourself or someone else. So I really want to work on being more present all the time and just taking in all the good moments and memories. Next personal goal is to meet new people. I feel like two years ago, I really set out to make this goal because I was going to be starting college and I feel like you're supposed to meet new people in college, but because I commuted and didn't really stay on campus, I met like one person and I love her to death. She's Emma, she's been on my channel a few times and I'm so glad that I met her, but I didn't like meet new people. Like I only met her, I didn't meet anyone else. So I feel like that goal never really got reached. And then last year I reset it again that I was going to meet new people and I never did. I still talk to pretty much the same people and at times it kind of sucks because I feel like I have, I wouldn't say nobody, but I just feel like I used to have so many people, especially in high school, to talk to whatever, whatever. 
and now I just feel like they're all trickling. So I really want to meet new people and I feel like cosmetology school is going to help me a lot with that because I'm with the same people every single day. So I can't wait to meet new people. My next personal goal is to manage my money better. So I personally think, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I personally feel like I save my money and manage my money pretty wisely. I always like talk about this to some of my closer friends about like how well I do save my money and all of them are like, what the hell D? Like how do you do that? And honestly, it's just because I work so much and make such good money that in my head I think about the future and I would rather spend it on the future than now. Like, I don't really need anything. But there are some times where I do go a little out of hand with buying myself things. That being clothes, food, accessories, room decor. <laughs> like, I will admit there are some times where I do go a little crazy and I... I'm like, why did I just do that? But you live and you learn, right? But I do think that I have saved my money very wisely, but I feel like recently I've just been at the same number. I've never really gone up or down. I've just been straight in the middle and that's because I've been spending so much, especially because of like the holidays and all that stuff, so. My goal is to manage my money more wisely and make that streak go up again. My last personal goal is to become more organized. I wouldn't say I'm like 100% organized. I'd probably say I'm at about 60 to 70%. So I really want to work on becoming a full 90 to 100% organize. There are times where I'm extremely motivated to be organized and I go on an organization streak and clean my whole room, organize my desk, organize my clothes, and then there are other times where I'm just like Ugh, and I'm a big blob mess. So I just need to be more mindful and be more organized. So now moving on to my health goals. I know everyone's gonna say that these goals are so basic, everyone says it, but for me it's something that I've been telling myself I want to do and never really do it. But hear me out, okay? We'll start with one that's not as basic just to, you know, start us off. One of my health goals is to drink more water. I say this all the time. I'm like, I need to drink more water. And I never do, like ever. And honestly, I think this year I'm really going to do it, especially going to school five out of the seven days a week. I'm just going to bring a water bottle, literally not going to bring any other drink, just a water bottle so that I know that's the only thing I will be able to drink is water. And then here we go. The two most basic goals is to eat healthier and work out daily or weekly. So if you didn't know, I was a gymnast my entire life from like preschool all the way till senior year of high school. So two years ago, I completely stopped doing gymnastics. And while I was doing gymnastics, I could eat literally whatever I wanted and nothing would happen because I worked out so much. My body really never changed. It was always the same. I was like skinny, but also fit and had some muscle. So I had like a good body. And then of course you quit all of that active stuff and you go to college and you're stressed all the time and you just want to eat and then you eat whatever you want and then what? I'm not saying that I think I've gained too much weight. I will admit I have gained a few pounds, but nothing drastic. Everyone gains some and loses some, some point of their life. And I think it's more so in my head that I don't look as good as I used to. So I think it's way worse than it actually is. But I've just come to the point where I know I still look 
pretty good but to me I just want that fit skinny look again if you get what I'm saying like I used to have a six pack okay I do not have a six pack anymore let me tell you so I'm not saying I want a six pack again I just want like the shape I used to have okay and then for the last topic I have career goals so I guess I'll just start off with my YouTube goals I only have two and because I'm such a small youtuber still like I only have 1200 subscribers like 1200 and something subscribers which I pretty much received in a year I'd like to reach between three and 5,000 subscribers by next year. I don't know if that's going to happen. Maybe I'll like bypass that. Who knows? YouTube is a crazy thing. You never know what's going to happen. So, but for now, my goal is three to 5,000 subscribers. And then this is like a short term goal because I only have january february march and april to get it so i only have four more months to reach my 4000 hour requirement and if you don't know what that means there are two requirements on youtube that you need to meet in a year to get paid so i already met one of them which was to reach a thousand subscribers and your second requirement is to reach 4,000 hours of watch time and I'm pretty sure I'm at almost 3,000 which is pretty good but I still need a thousand and something hours of watch time and I need it before April to start making like revenue which it's literally only gonna be like a few dollars but it's still the fact that it's a requirement so I'm hoping that I can reach it and then I have three goals for cosmetology school I might as well just say all of them and then explain it because they kind of all tie together so I want to obviously graduate cosmetology school and cosmetology school for what I'm doing is only nine months so I'll be done before the new year like of the new next year even starts so that's one of my goals another one of my goals is to build my clientele and then also find a job at a nice salon with building my clientele that's probably one of the most important things that i need to work on because your clientele is how you make your money if you don't have a good clientele or you have little clientele that's not going to be good at first i mean yeah a lot of people do start off with little clientele and then you grow throughout the years but my goal is to hopefully build a pretty decent clientele before i even go into a salon because once i do start doing hair which is going to be like april because i start in february and then right after two months is when you start doing people's hair that's when i'm going to start working on building my clientele and having people come in that i can do their hair whether it's just an updo for prom or curling their hair or a small cut or some dyeing like there's so much that i'll be able to do and i'll also be starting a new instagram with just my hair stuff and maybe some makeup but that's one of my goals is to build a good clientele and then as far as finding a good job at a nice salon once the nine months is up and you get your certificate you're basically free to work at any salon so i'm pretty sure like october november will be the time of me going and working at a salon which is crazy to even think about like it's so soon yet so far but i just can't wait 
for all of that to happen. All right, you guys, so those were some of my New Year's resolutions for the new year of 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys could take some of my ideas and use them as your own. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And also, again, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.